and welcome back. So in today's video, we're getting into 3D sketches. <clears throat> now, I cringe a bit when I say 3D sketches. Uh, personally, I do not like them. Uh, I think they're very hard to control and properly constrain down. So typically, uh, if I can do something with a 2D sketch, I do it with a 2D sketch. Uh, but there are applications for 3D sketches that come in very handy for us whenever we're trying to do an odd job or uh, even just doing a frame generated frame in 3D sketch or like a tube and pipe run in 3D sketch it can be a bit easier but like I said my own personal feelings aside I don't like 3D sketches but I'm going to show you some tricks with them so first things first some of you might be thinking 3D sketch, where's 3D sketch? Well, underneath where we normally have start a 2D sketch, you have a drop down that has start a 3D sketch. So if you click on that, it switches over to the 3D sketch environment. You see it's got a lot of different looking options inside of it. Uh, similar to our 2D sketch, we do have a line, we do have arcs, we do have splines, points, equation curves, bends, some of the typical stuff you might see in a normal sketch. This one sticks out like a sore thumb. You can create helical curves inside of a 3D sketch. You just set up some of the uh, constraints and it will create it for you. We also have some options to uh, project geometry into some different scenarios, which is, comes in very handy. Uh, so we can dimension just like we could in a normal 2D sketch. We have constraints, some of them look familiar, like tangent, parallel, perpendicular, collinear, and uh, coincident, as well as lock and equal, but we also have some different ones, like parallel with z-axis, or the y, or the x, or parallel with our xy plane, yz plane, xz plane. So there are some different constraints in there. And the biggest thing inside of a 3D sketch is realizing that, yeah, we've worked in a 3D space before, but you were actually sketching in a 3D space. So, as an example, if I draw a line, I start, I can either start on one of these planes, one of these axes, or I can start off in space, but when I do, you'll notice I've got three ways I can take that sketch. So if I go up, or I can go over, down, I'll just do some funky stuff here to get you an idea. So if I right click, hit OK, I go around, the sketch itself is actually 3D. I'm going in all the directions X, Y, and Z. So you kind of get the idea. Then from there, you can add in constraints, dimensions, so on and so forth. Go, go back one more. Uh, but aside from that, like I said, you can use that to get a wireframe for frame generator, for tube and pipe, and other applications, and it works great. Uh, general sketching to create parts, I would not recommend it. <clears throat> but using 3D Sketch as a tool comes in very handy. Uh, for example, if we had this work plane and we wanted to create a sketch or a piece of geometry where this plane met my cylinder here in a 3D Sketch, we can do that very easily. So if I start a 3D Sketch, we have this option for an intersection curve. From here, I'm just picking my intersecting geometry. So, work plane, cylinder, hit OK. I've now got this geometry that represents that intersection. And what's neat is we can actually use that for different commands. So I'm going to go ahead, finish that, and let's hide our work plane again. If I come over to the right here and 
back up. Sketch on my YZ plane here. And I'm gonna project that guy. I could go in and create a profile. and use the sweep command to sweep that along that intersecting path that we just created. So if I go sweep, select my path, there we go. It's a really neat little trick that we can use for trying to find uh, areas that intersect. It comes in very handy. Now another really neat little trick my second work plane here is that we can sketch something and use a 3D sketch to project it to a surface. So what I mean by that, if I come over here, sketch on my work plane, and you know, let's just do a, a little rectangle here, make it 1.5. 0.75 Turn my construction there we Go get that all centered up Now if I wanted to take that and project it to my surface here if I use my 3d sketch we have project to surface. So if I click that, click my face, make sure that's the only face I need. Yep. My curves, which are all the lines creating my rectangle there. And then our output, we have a couple different options. We can just project along the vector, so it'll project it straight onto that, project the closest point or we can wrap it to the surface. Uh, really, it just depends on your situation, what, you wanna, what you're trying to achieve. Uh, I typically just stick with project along a vector. But if I go ahead and hit OK, you should be able to see it has wrapped that around there. Pretty neat. And again, we can use different uh, commands from our 3D modeling tab to interact with that, like sweep. Go ahead and finish that. So there are just a couple of different ways that we can utilize 3D Sketch uh, without fully committing to using the entirety of the 3D Sketch. <clears throat> uh, I find that using the intersect, uh, I use that a lot and not just for sketching things, sometimes you can use that if you're really looking for um, an area. So if I wanted to find the area of that piece there, it's an easy way to create that profile and then use your measuring tool to get the area. So a lot of different applications for it. Again, with my personal feelings aside for the 3D sketch, it does have some application in use. Uh, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you've learned something. Take that information, utilize it as you will, and as always, be inventive.